In this video I'm going to show you how to present an isometric drawing. So the isometric drawing is used to show your client um, and there's no need for any measurements. So first of all we're going to get rid of those measurements um, and we're going to put perspective back on um, in case we took it off in our last um, display. Um, if you see the little uh, views icon, ISO, that, that shows it from the corner so you're steering the closest part of the drawing to you is the corner now I'm not particularly concerned if it's not exactly in that shape you could go um, on, a, on an angle like this if you wish depending on um, what else you're going to include in your picture so because this drawing is going to be um, presented to your client what you need to do is to show it in a um, in an area that's similar to what you, where your client would use it so they can see how the object would um, fit in with what they have so I'm just going to put it in a bedroom see if I can find a suitable sort of bedroom on on here um, you can scan through as long as you want to find something you see is similar to what your client's got Now when you get this loaded into your SketchUp, one of the biggest parts is just to make sure that you click that mouse button once it's on. Because if you go to a different tool, whatever input or drawing you just had, I'm just going to zoom back a little bit on here, using my mouse wheel to zoom back. Whatever imported um, drawing that you had, if I click on a different um, tool now, this drawing will disappear. So I just have to click left click the mouse button, it will place it, and as soon as it's been placed, uh, you're not going to have it disappear anymore. Um, grab this stool, make sure if it's in separate components, you select the entire thing. Wouldn't hurt to uh, make it into a group either. And put it wherever you think that it might sit in the client's bedroom. Use the orbit tool to pull it back. Um, also, not a bad idea to uh, display the item as it might have a few things open just to show the client how it might operate. Um, use Q to rotate, and I want to open this door up, but if I do it from this hinge, the end of the, the little pin on the end of the hinge is round so what I have to do is grab it from a flat spot it's red that tells me um, that it's sitting on one of the three planes I'm going to hold down shift and then drag it to the center point of that click drag it out click lift it up to what angle you want type, type the angle in um, and then hit enter so that's if you're opening up something you can slide drawers out or whatever if you'd like um, you have to come back hit the space bar that brings up the select tool and click on the background so um, last thing is is to try and get it so that is completely in the, um, the picture and get it again on one of those staring at this corner at that at right angle And lastly, we need to again snip that picture and save it in that same um, folder. Name that one isometric. And this one is done.